What's up guys, Mitchell Watts with Town & Country TV and today is a very special day because what just rolled off of the line at Roush Performance in Livonia, Michigan and just got delivered to Town & Country Ford in Bessemer, Alabama are the brand new 2021 Roush F-150s. And in this video, I'm going to tell you why Roush lied to us. Well, kind of. Let me explain a little bit more when I say that they lied to us, because technically they didn't, but let's go a little bit more into details. We've done a video of the Roush F-150 already, but you'll notice this one looks a little bit different. As you guys come into the window sticker itself, you the first thing you'll notice, uh, we'll talk about the price, 74410, but this is what I want to point out to you. A credit for Job One Fender Flares, no wide body kit. So as you guys have mentioned in some of our previous other videos, although I actually like the look of the vehicle in person, I will be the first to admit it did not photograph all that well after we were editing the video. So what has Roush done? And that's not because of the reason. The real reason is because of supplier demand issues. So uh, they were having some issues with getting the actual wide body fender flares sent to Roush so that way they can install them. So what you've got is this setup right here. This is going to be the job one final per production vehicle for the Roush F-150 as this one is as well. But as you can see, you've got the matte black uh, fender flares that cover just the right amount to make sure that it's going to be street legal in all 50 states. And uh, we're going to go over everything as far as the Roush package on this XLT and then also compare it to this Lariat that we have behind me. So we've got a little bit of both worlds to kind of showcase to you. So now that we've got the fender flare, wide body fender flare uh, question out of the way, let's tell you what Roush has done on this particular XLT first. First up, let's talk about the front end of the vehicle. As you can see, this is the Roush dedicated front grill. And what I like about this is you can see it is an unpainted hard plastic that looks very similar to something you would find in a Raptor. And as you can see, because you've, you're paying for the name, you've got these massive letters right here for Roush. In addition to that, you've also got this camera located down here below the vehicle. As you well know, the XLT now comes with a 360 camera available. And the cool part is, is it actually has a windshield washer fluid that will spray to keep this camera clean. It's a really cool technology. And in addition to that, this is a Ford thing, not a Roush thing, but you also happen to have your front parking sensor so you know you're not going to pull too far forward in that parking space. But going back to the Roush side of things, you've also got the lower rear bumper cover, if you will. It's not a very fancy or sexy name, but that is what you've got as far as the Roush is concerned. Looking up on the hood, uh, they don't replace anything on the hood, but you will notice they do have a nice matte black racing stripe kind of thing. It kind of resembles you know, uh, an overall design of what the Raptor looks like on the hood, but it does look nice. Now I'll tell you, my one of my favorite things when it comes to graphics on this Roush F-150 is going to be the Roush banner. So in the years past, what Roush and really everybody's done, SCA Performance and even TC Customs has done a banner up here at the top that would run across the windshield. Here's the problem and the reason that's a problem. Located right here, you've got your windshield wiper sensor. So that way the truck can tell there's water on the windshield and it will start using the windshield wiper. You can't cover that. Next over here, you've also got a camera that's looking for the lines in the road. And it also happens to have your pedestrian detection sensors located in this area. You can't put a sticker across this because then those sensors don't work. So what did Ford do and what did Roush do rather is they came up with this banner that actually comes across the top here and it also will help protect some of the you know, the, the vehicle to the elements, but mainly it just gets the, the decal off of the window and up here to where you're not messing with your sensors. If you are in the market for a Roush F-150, one of the reasons probably is gonna be the wheels, tires, and the suspension. Let me tell you what I mean by that. So if you're interested maybe in a Raptor, but you say, you know what, I'm definitely driving a V8 because I refuse to drive a V6 and you're not willing to wait on the rumored Raptor R that's coming out later on, uh, this might be a great option for you. But what you've got here nonetheless is a set of Roush premium wheels. Now these are the wheels that are dedicated to Roush. The only place you can get these from is from Roush and it is not a rebranded wheel. This is their own wheel. Now what I do like is that it's not a carbonized gray. I can't remember the name of the color, but it does look really nice even on a white vehicle, but even also on a carbonized gray vehicle as you can see right there behind me. So it's a, it's a very 
versatile color as far as that is concerned. And you also have a really, really nice thick protection ring over here. Next up, you've got a set of General Grabber AT, AT tires. The tires are 30555R20. And uh, as you can see, they do have a load range of E. Now these, from what everybody's telling me, everybody that's had these tires, no real issues with the tires. It's been a, a good performing tire and it's also you know, relatively cost effective if you do need to replace these tires at a late point in time. Next up is one of my favorite things and that is going to be the coilover suspension system found inside of the Roush F-150. This is one of our better selling parts that we have available on tccustoms.com and so you can actually purchase that coilover uh, shameless plug on our website. I'll have it linked below. Um, the nice part about that is that kit actually fits a 2015 all the way up to a 2021 and possibly even 2022 depending on they don't make any major crazy changes. But it's just nice to know that you have that ability to purchase that uh, high-end coilover setup. Now, is it as good as the Raptor suspension is going to be for 2021? Absolutely not, but it's a lot better than the factory option and it's not nearly as expensive. I promise you we're going to get into the Lariat here in just a second, but a lot of this stuff is carryover from the XLT to Lariat. But nonetheless, let's talk about graphics. As you can see, this is the Ford factory fender vent. They did not change this since they are uh, normally going with a wide body fender flare that deletes this. Uh, so since this has not got that option, it's the job one build with just the normal flares. What you've got is the F-150 XLT badging here, and then you've got a Roush sticker. It's just a matte black decal that is stuck onto the factory uh, setup here. Uh, next up, you do have Roush that is located on the uh, both sides of the lower part of the front doors. And then one of my absolute favorite features, because I am a red-blooded American and I'm so proud of the country that I live in, is going to be the American flag. Now, you've got one on this side and also one on that side. But one of my favorite things outside of this American flag is going to be this exhaust system. This is the dedicated Roush exhaust. And as you can see, this is the only setup you have for the 2021. It is a different part number than the previous generation of the F-150 exhaust. In fact, let's do this. Let's go ahead and take a listen to it. Before we actually listen to the exhaust system though, I need to let you know that if you get in one and it sounds like a stock exhaust, that's probably because your dealer left the baffle in it. Every one of these Roush F-150s come with a baffle in it to make sure that they are quiet and 50 state legal. Well, if it sounds like that, you simply need to remove the baffle. We'll show you what that looks like and then also show you what it sounds like here in just a second. All right, so this is the Roush exhaust system. And as you can see, there's two inlet pipes and then there's two exit pipes. Now this particular pipe is the loud pipe. And as you can see, there is a shim or a, a, basically a baffle that is a, just a solid block of metal between this pipe and this pipe. When you pull that pipe out, it allows the exhaust to flow through the loud side of the muffler, which will increase the volume itself. So keep in mind that if your Roush is too quiet, that's probably because this little baffle has been left in. All right, so we have moved onto the inside because it is pouring down outside. So let's finally take a listen to the exhaust. Since you're paying for the Roush name, they've got the Roush all over it. You can see you've got your tailgate applique is really just nothing but a uh, matte black decal located on the back. And then you've also got the Jack Roush signature located on the back. By the way, are you keeping tabs on how many times you see a Roush name on the truck? I, I'm curious to put your comments, your guesses down below. So without further ado, let's take a look at the inside of the XLT version. And then we're going to come turn around and compare that to the actual Lariat. On the inside of this particular vehicle, as I've already mentioned to you, this is the XLT. XLT. I'm going to turn the fan down so you can hear me a little bit better. But as you can see, this is the XLT. You've got the bone stock F-150 XLT cloth. There is an optional Roush premium upgraded leather uh, option, but this one does not feature it. A lot of people like us will probably be adding a lot of cat skin premium leather here at the dealership. That way you can actually customize what exact color you want as far as the leather is concerned. But nonetheless, the new F-150 has got a really uh, a slew of different cool features, just like this particular one that I'm about to show you, where you have have an interior work surface where you can actually lay your laptop here. You've got full power accessories to be able to power that laptop and it is just a nice opportunity 
to actually have functionality at the truck. And speaking of functionality, you've got a massive hanging file folder system inside of this center console. So pretty sweet stuff there. Um, nonetheless, yeah, this is the interior on the inside of the new 2021 XLT model. You do have things like the push button start, so no more key fob. You do have that set up here as well. You've got a lot of different nice things like the 12 inch premium touchscreen system to it. And one of my favorite things, getting away from just the normal factory stuff, is going to be located right here. This is the Roush badging on the inside of the vehicle. And as you can see, it showcases, this is an individual serial number of 21-0127. So this is the 127th Roush F-150 made for this specific year model. I think that is fantastic. Next up, I wanna to showcase to you the actual instrument cluster. As you can see, this is a dedicated Roush gauge where it actually replaces the gauges on both sides and it is flanked by this eight inch screen right there in the middle. So I think it's a really nice touch. It's not too blinding, but once again, you do have the American flag and then also the Roush badging in that instrument cluster. As far as the outside differences, XLT versus Larry, the first thing that you're going to notice is you do have the ability to have the kickflip what I like to kick flip, kick switch <laughs> for the actual running board. So as you can see, these power deployable running boards are a Ford factory option that Roush has put on here. But I love how the fact that it actually extends all the way into the bed of the vehicle. So that way you can get stuff out of the back. And then when you're done, just kick it again and it goes right back in. Now, the nice part about these uh, push button start, as you approach the vehicle, it will automatically kick out that running board as well. So let's do this. Let's take a look at a couple of the differences on the inside of this Lariat. On the inside of the Lariat, I'm going to go over a couple of different factory options and then kind of showcase what Roush has done to the vehicle as well. As I mentioned to you earlier, just like this other XLT, this one has the Ford factory seating. Because it's a Lariat, it picks up the leather seating, and as you can see, it's got a brown stitching or brown piping mixed in with the rest of the black leather, and it does match the brown that you have in the center console and also on the dashboard. Now, I want to kind of point out a couple of other things. You do have the ability to upgrade this leather with the Roush premium leather that'll actually get Roushing, uh, Roushing. <laughs> it'll actually get Roush badging in the actual headrest in the front and the rear. So that's a nice little touch that they do. But I do want to point out to you a couple of other things. You do have that Roush badging right there on the passenger side. That is just like on the XLT model. And then the next thing that I want to point out to you is going to be the actual floor mats. Those are WeatherTech mats that are branded specifically specifically for Roush. And so it is really, really nice that you have that ability. And I wanna showcase something to you as you lift up that actual floor mat, underneath it, you have these grippers that showcase and that hold onto the carpet. So that way that passenger side doesn't slide around. That's something I have yet to see on these mats. The other difference you're gonna find on the Lariat is because the Ford factory Lariat has the instrument cluster with a 12 inch digital gauge, you obviously don't have the ability to upgrade that to the Roush gauge like you do on the XLT. So if you like the look of the uniqueness of that XLT gauge, just keep in mind, it's not gonna be that way on the inside of the Lariat. Now let's do this, let's take a look at the back seat. On the back seat of the vehicle, you can see you do have your center console here with two extra cup holders two more cup holders here plus a juice box holder and then you've got cup holders uh two in each door so you got a whole lot of different cup holders on the back seat of this f-150 but i want to showcase a couple of things that come with you so as you can see you can lift both sides of those seats up you do have the ford factory mats that come in addition to the weathertech mats in addition, this particular vehicle is equipped with the box link setup, which is basically the hookups and the tie downs in the bed of the vehicle, which are gonna be located right here. You've got four points on the inside. You can use this as a tracks system to hang your, your uh, ramps for loading your four-wheeler into the bed of the vehicle. Uh, it's a very versatile system, but that's what this particular setup is. That is gonna be the box link. Next up, I wanna talk about this. This is going to be the yaw sensor that is located and can be mounted on your trailer. So this vehicle features something called Pro Trailer Backup Assist. And there's gonna be stickers that you can place on those uh, trailers and you can use that so that way the truck can back the trailer up for you. But if you don't feel like messing with those stickers and doing the measurements and all that kind of stuff, you can actually permanently bolt this yaw sensor to the actual trailer that you're using and it will automatically connect and automatically set up that pro trailer backup assist. A very, very nice technology. Now let's take a look underneath the hood. All right, so taking a look underneath the hood, you can probably guess what motor is in these vehicles. It is gonna be the 5.0 V8, but before we go into that, I wanna showcase 
something that I failed to mention to you on the grill earlier, and that is going to be these, uh, these opaque looking uh, lenses on the actual grill. As you can probably see, it actually has a light behind it, so that way as you're driving down at night, it is more or less an accent light that looks fantastic and just kind of gives it a different unique look. But nonetheless, this is going to be the underneath the hood, the 5.0 V8. This is uh, going to be a brand new motor for Ford Motor Company on 2021. And the reason that this one is not equipped with this Roush supercharger is because it is still in development. It is expected to see that Roush Performance supercharger come later on this year as a dealer installed option. By the way, if, shameless plug, if you want some information about ordering one of those kits and having it installed, you can give us a call 205-491-0010. Uh, but nonetheless, if you want the supercharger installed from Roush Performance Factory, because they have to wait an extra year for the CARB certifications, you're going to be a 2022 model year if you want it installed from Roush. But if you want to do a post title, that's the legal terminology, you can actually have your local dealership do it. Or if you want someone that's experienced with these superchargers, we've done more than I can count and we'd be happy to help you with that. But nonetheless, that is going to be our review of the updated non <laughs> wide body fender flared Roush Performance F-150. Um, one thing I failed to mention to you is going to be the pricing of these two vehicles. As you can see, this Lariat does come in at 82,600. And then as you saw earlier, the XLT comes in at $74,410. So the question to you, is it worth a little more than $8,000 to go with the Lariat versus the XLT? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinion there. And I haven't mentioned this already in the video, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. We are giving away a BDS lift kit for you guys, completely free. All you gotta do is put your information in the system, automatically enter you into that contest. So go to tccustoms.com forward slash giveaway for your chance to win that six or four inch BDS lift kit for your 2021 Ford F-150. And as I've already mentioned to you, uh, the Roush coilovers are available on tccustoms.com for purchase as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. Leave some comments down below. Let us know if you have any questions or want to see anything in specific. We appreciate you guys watching this video. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with that bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.